R. Kelly and Vibe at Isle of Wight Radio. Hello, good morning. It's Paul and Emily here, and Jamie is joining us this morning. Morning, Jamie. Good morning. So, uh, scores so far, Jamie, I can't remember. Um, very good question. Let's, should we say it's a draw so far? No, let's Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so today's the decider. Why do you want to do that? I don't know, it just makes it more fun if there's something <laughs> up, you know. Yeah. If there's some kind of prize. What? No? Okay. I'm with Emily on this one. What? Have, have we already won? I was going to say all the hard work that Hayley and I put in this week and you've just thrown it to the... <sighs> yeah, but you know, a bit of jeopardy. Emily's decision's final. I'd say double or quits, but obviously there's no prize, so it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, it is time to play Headline or Hearsay for a Feel Good Friday. We are live on Facebook. If you uh, want to uh, play along with us, Facebook.com forward slash Isle of White Radio. We would love for you to join us. Hello to Emma Elliott, who's joining us this morning. Thank you very much for your message. In early doors, which is what we like. Uh, right, are we ready for the very first headline or hearsay? You're right there. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> my chair just sank. <laughs> I, from, the corner of my, from the corner of my eye, I just saw you dropping like a stone. Anyway, here we go. What could be easier than phoning for room service? Well, texting for it. A new service, which was launched by Aloft Hotels, allows guests to text emoji combinations to the Manhattan property's front desk to receive items such as crisps, deodorant, or even painkillers. The Text It, Get It program consists of six packages that can be ordered by sending over a string of images, along with the guest's room number and surname. Headline or hearsay? Really? Really? I like it because I, d I do like, if I'm going to order something, like takeaway, I don't really like ringing. No, I so don't. So I will always opt for a company. I mean, you don't really get many on the island, but where you can just go online and pay and then it just turns up. There's yeah, you a, don't have there's to interact. A chicken, there's a chicken takeaway place in, uh, in Newport that, that does, well, not only delivery, but also you can order online. It's brilliant. Really? Wow. I yeah. did not know about yeah, that. It's, it's like the island. Do they deliver to Knighton, though? Probably, if you ask nicely, they do. Uh, they do. It's kind of like a, 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 an island version of Nando's, to be honest. Really? Yeah. What? It's really. How really do we good. not know about this? It's yeah. really good. Oh, it's the best kept secret. Don't <laughs> yeah, you, clearly. Don't you, don't you don't you start ordering because <laughs> you know I don't want to. Sorry, we're inundated. We've shut down. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a delivery in night and we're with you in an hour. <laughs> don't have to wait for my chicken. I'm I'm with you though. I hate speaking to people on the yeah. phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I, I don't know what, it just sort of, oh, I don't mind answering the phone, I just don't like calling out. Oh, I don't like answering the phone either. And I don't like when they come to the door. What they should do is just knock on the door and leave, leave it. Leave it, yeah, I've already <laughs> paid. You know you've got the right address. <laughs> anyway, uh, Dawn Chapman uh, says, oh, oh, she disappeared from my screen. Uh, let's go through a few of them. Keith Oxlade, hearsay. Say, 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 say. Uh, Debbie Constable says, hearsay. Jenny says, uh, Morning, I think it's a headline. Jean Newnham says headline. Uh, Luke says headline as well. <sighs> Hayley thinks it's headline. I don't think it can be headline, can it? What do you think, Emily? Yeah, it's a kind of, yeah. It going? could happen, couldn't really? it? Yeah, oh, order some, what do they, baba ganoush by texting an aubergine. A what? A what? Isn't that, that the, it's like a dip. Baba Ganoush? No? Oh, made of aubergines? Never heard of it. These these night night and people are so posh. I think they that's are. what it is. I apologise if... Uh, Baba if Ganoush? I'm, isn't that what it's called? <laughs> you know, it's like a... If it isn't, I'll be really disappointed. <laughs> that's the best name ever. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> Gasson <laughs> de Baba Ganoush. Super pie. No, no, just me. Yeah, you're your hummus. Your taramasalata. And, and your baba, baba ganoush. <laughs> baba ganoush. Ah. Sounds like something you might go into a health spa for. <laughs> um, so what are we doing? Headline. Oh, okay. Yeah. Headline. Yeah. It's true as well. Just oh, check there you go. It is a headline. Hey. Correct. We all know Philip Schofield as a bit of a smooth operator, and this was proven when he charmed residents at the opening of a new care home in his hometown. The star of this morning chatted with residents before officially opening the home, which included the Schofield suite named in his honour. Care manager Joan Hill said he was delightful and spent more than two hours chatting to everyone there. 
Is that a headline or is it hearsay? I could see Philip Schofield. Yeah, doing he's that. a nice chap, isn't he? Yeah. I'd like to think he's a nice. I've never yeah. met him, but I, I'd like to think ever since he was there with uh, Gordon the Gopher. You know, there's there's a place in my heart for Philip Schofield. <laughs> Coming back from school. Ah. Seeing him in the broom cupboard. Brings back memories. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, Marie thinks it's headline. Emma Elliott says headline. Uh, I love Phil. I nearly misread that and thought it said I love Paul. Then I was disappointed. <laughs> uh, Nikki says headline. Uh, Mark says head, uh, headline. Uh, Laura Skinner says headline. Jean Newman says headline. Charlotte Ellis headline. Debbie Constable says headline. David Harry says headline. Keith Oxlade says headline. Julie Hollister says headline. Everyone thinks that Phil is the man. Yeah, that doesn't seem like an unlikely story. No. So we're going headline. Yeah. Headline. It's a hearsay. <gasps> It's a hearsay. Well, I'm surprised. I thought he was a nice guy. So he didn't stay. <laughs> he didn't do it. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, so it's just right. completely that's, that's, fabricated. Oh, completely fabricated. Oh, okay. yeah. that, well, that's now what... I feel like this imaginary care home is missing out. Yes. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> missing oh. the Schofield <laughs> suite. <laughs> More than one in ten British adults has a genuine fear of food, according to a UK-wide study. And you might be surprised by which ones. Seafood is by far the most feared food group, according to the study, with squid the most dreaded of all. Oysters, mussels and anchovies also feature prominently in a list of the nation's biggest food fears, as does kidneys, liver and black pudding. However, many foods which aren't widely considered offensive emerged as food feared, including bananas, pasta and mayonnaise. Headline or hearsay? I reckon that's a headline. Yeah. Yeah, crustaceans are scary looking things. Oh, yeah. And, yeah and it bit... just sounded like food people didn't want to eat, though, a bit there. When you started going into kidneys and liver, that's just, that's not a fear. That's just like, wouldn't order it. Even though both of those are actually quite nice, especially if you don't know what they are. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll have the awful surprise, please. <laughs> Mm. I love the mixed platter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> May. Uh, Hayley says headline. Wendy says headline. Charlotte Ellis says headline. Uh, Nikki says headline. I'm scared of peas. So is so Heather, Heather McCallum. Yeah, Especially if peas. they're on the floor. Yeah. Like a hairy pea that's sort of been rolled around for a while. Yeah, I've never heard of a fear of peas, but now I know two people. Uh, Marion Peach says headline. Rob uh, says... Uh, Jay, how are you, buddy? This isn't this isn't oh, a well, thanks, this Rob. isn't catch up with <laughs> no, Jay well. session. Goodness <laughs> say, uh, Keith Oxlade says headline, uh, nice stuffed kidney. Uh, Debbie says uh, headline. Julie says headline, uh, liver and kidney, hearts, oxtails, fish, etc. Uh, uh. Jean says hearsay. Eddie says headline. What did headline. I? Yeah, we, I yeah. think it's headline. You sure? This is for the win or the loss of the whole week, thanks to Emily. <laughs> it's a headline. Oh, yeah, see? Well yeah. Done. yeah, we made there the right go. call, didn't we, to give Jamie a chance? I was going to give it a ding, but, but it's broken. You... There oh, go. there we are. Brilliant. Uh, thank you, Jamie. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, God, look, give him a cuddle. Did you just do that like two minutes ago? What? That, the headline on here? No, so. it's all no? prepared. Oh, right, okay, Spent sorry. all week doing it. <sighs> Never mind. Headline of hearsay is back. <laughs> Headline of hearsay back on Isle of Wight Radio Monday morning. It's Haley's last week uh, next week, Monday to Thursday, oh, yeah. and then uh, you're here for the uh, for foreseeable the, for the long haul. <laughs> oh, what have we done? <laughs> Well, we have no choice, it's the law. Uh, it's, uh, I know. it's quarter to eight, it's Isle of Wight Radio. This is Eric Carmen. Travel news next on Isle of Wight Radio. Oh, thank you, Facebook, Thanks, Facebook. people. Thanks, Facebook. So close yet so far. Do you like Emily's new lipstick? What is it called? Uh, <laughs> um, hold on. Shocking thing. This is not sponsored. It's um, full throttle. <laughs> Full throttle. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Wow. Yeah. Mm. Show us again. <laughs> I reckon I've got an Instagram career ahead of me. I think you probably have, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Emma Elliott says beautiful as always. Oh, thanks, Emma. Nikki says uh, CPs are scary. Oh, I thought she meant you're scary. <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, that's it for Facebook for today. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye. See you later.